Brian Jones is one of those musicians I kind of have a soft spot for. Extremely talented on the one hand, but on the other hand, a very capricious, flawed human being as well. Which kind of makes an interesting story, right? In any case, we're gonna focus today on one thing he did particularly well, which is playing the slide. Red Rooster, a blue song originally done by Howling Wolf. And the interesting thing is, the Stones released this song as a single in November 1964. And if you're a band and you're relatively new, just signed with the label, and eh, the Stones were only around for a year or so, you want to put out something that's catchy and commercial and eh, that has a chance of becoming a hit. Whatever you're going to do, you're not going to put out a hardcore Howling Wolf blues song and then expect it to become number one. But, interestingly enough, that's exactly what happened. The song went all the way to number one, which is quite extraordinary. The only blues song ever to become a number one hit in England, that is. Amazing. Now, Little Red Rooster, especially the slide guitar, is one of those things that it's easy to do, but hard to master. The song or well, the guitar is in open G tuning. And first off, you just want to use your index finger and have a go at that. Very, very easy. I'm a little red rooster. My God, nothing could be simpler. If all songs were as simple as this, right? And I remember, this is actually how I started playing the guitar myself. I couldn't play the guitar at all before I had any lessons, so I just tuned the guitar in a chord and hey! You can make music! Anyway, here's the tricky part, using the slide. The difficult part is doing that vibrato. And still, for me, I'm not an expert at playing slide guitar. The vibrato is the most difficult thing to do. The temptation is to do it too fast. And then it's not very good. But also, there's another thing. There's a different feeling, it's a different technique from doing a vibrato without a slide. Normally, without the slide, you would want your thumb to have a tight grip playing a vibrato, because a vibrato very often comes with a bend. And I need lots of strength to be able to do that, so I have a very tight grip, I don't want it to move at all. With the slide, however, if I want to do a vibrato, I have to move from left to right. So if I have a very tight grip, it limits my movement with the slide, and then doing a good vibrato is almost impossible. So. It's not a tight grip at all. It's a bit loose, a bit flexible. Totally different feel. <laughs> and little details like that make all the difference in the world. I Wanna Be Your Man, the first number one hit single for the Rolling Stones, written of course by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. It's also one of the few records where Brian Jones is singing backing vocals. And when you listen to his voice, I wanna be your man, you can quickly understand why Keith Richards was gonna do all backing vocals in the future, because Brian could do many things musically, but singing vocals wasn't one of them. Now, 
When you look at the tuning of the guitar, the tuning is a little bit different. Most of the time when you play slide guitar, the guitar is tuned in open G, like in the previous song. But here, he's using an open D tuning. The idea is the same, tune your guitar in one chord and you're good to go with the slide. And playing the verse of this song is so hilariously easy, my one and a half year daughter could do it. That's so incredibly simple. That's almost too simple. But in the chorus, he does something peculiar. Normally, when you play slide, you use vibrato, right? That effect. But Brian Jones, in the chorus, isn't doing that. He's playing all the long notes without any vibrato. Wanna be your man? Wanna be your man? A regular guitarist would do. He doesn't do that. And playing without vibrato, you have to be spot on where you put the bottleneck. Because it's very easy to play out of tune. Wanna be your man? Wanna be your man? That's the hook of the song. The Stones version compared to the Beatles version is much more aggressive. Of Obviously, it's the Stones. Now, when he plays the guitar solo, he could have just improvised something along the lines of... But he doesn't do that. Instead, he plays something that is much more effective, which is to simply copy the melody of the vocals. I want to be your lover, baby. Simple, effective, brilliant. called No Expectations, one of the last shining examples of Brian's slide guitar and general involvement with the Stones, for that matter. And when you think about his life story, it's such a tragic one, isn't it? Here's a guy whose dream it was to start a rhythm and blues band, become rich and famous. And in the beginning, he was the driving force behind the Stones. And after he becomes finally rich and famous, what does he do? Well like so many others, he utterly destroys himself. Hmm? Why is that always the case? Why do people do that? If I was rich and famous, eh? rich and famous, I'd be happy, of course. But somehow it doesn't seem to be that simple. Now, back to the music. In this song, he's using yet another tuning. This time it's what we call open E. So we have open G, open D, and open E, and those are pretty much all the tunings you're likely to run into when playing the slide guitar. And this song particularly has a very low energy, relaxed vibe. There's nothing technical, fancy, virtuoso about his guitar playing, really. It's very much, as always, in service of the song, but take away his slide guitar and the whole song, the record falls flat on its face. And playing those melodies behind the vocals is something he did very often. Songs like Lady Jane, Under My Thumb, not just on the slide guitar, but a whole range of different instruments. And that's the thing, really. When you take Mick Taylor, eh, who replaced Brian in the Stones, he's no doubt a better guitarist in every way imaginable, but Brian could play the saxophone. Yeah. There are many people who can play many instruments, McCartney or Prince, but none of them as many 
as Brian Jones. Eh? That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you 